Hey guys, it's your girl Mika. I am back with another video. If you have not done so yet, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, which is Yalmikia Atmans. What I talk about on my channel is empowerment, enlightenment, beauty, and inspiration, specifically for females, but males, you are welcome as well. Um, in today's video, I'm going to talk about how worrying about things you can't see can hinder you from living a life that God has created for you to live or source or energy or whatever you want to call it. I call all three source, energy, and God, because all of them are the same. It's just wordplay. That's it. Um, and I believe in all three because they all are the same. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So today's video is going to be about worrying about things that you can't see. So I'm going to get straight into it. Um, you know, we were born to and taught about our five senses and we were taught how to use our five senses, right? Touch, taste, smell, see, and the other ones, because there's really more than five. But, you know, those were the ones that we were taught in school. We were taught in our homes. But have you noticed that when you were taught, we were taught these five senses, we were not taught how not to solely focus on the five senses because with the five senses you can see right we can touch we which we can feel we can smell we can taste so i'm specifically speaking on the seeing part so when we worry about things we can't see we are really blocking our blessings like there's an overflow waiting to be released into our life but because we are resistant individuals, we are asking for things that we want, but we are asking for things we want in a, and we are in resistance at the same time. And this is why you may be experiencing, why am I not receiving the things that I'm asking for? It's because you don't really believe you deserve it. And it's because you are being resistant, which is a part of not believing that you deserve it. So where I come from, I was raised by my grandparents. And so we were taught to save money for a rainy day, play it safe. And growing up, I had a mindset of poverty. I didn't want to spend money. I was cheap. You know, I didn't believe that if I spend this money, I got more coming. Even if I had my, a paycheck coming, I still was afraid to spend money. And the reason why I was afraid to spend money is because of my background, the paradigm and the history where I come from. And it's many things that we were taught in our childhood years and um, in our paradigm that was traditional. You know, it was things that has been baked into our culture african Americans specifically to believe these traditional ways of thinking and so me being raised by my grandparents they were conditioned and they had that thought process of playing it safe save your money um for a rainy day and there's nothing wrong with those things i'm not saying you shouldn't have a savings account because you should that's primary you need to have money saved but what I'm talking about is the mindset of poverty, the mindset of scared to spend money, the mindset of, you know, holding on to money like it's your last, like you getting ready to die or you can't take it with you anyway. But like get out of that mindset, that poverty mindset, because the more you think that way, the more you're going to attract less because your thinking is like, I'm not going to get more. That's less or none. Your mindset is like, I don't know where my next going to come from. Where are you allowing God's source of energy to do their part? Because you as the human, me as the human, we think that we in control of everything. And y'all don't understand that we are spiritual vibrational beings. We are a part of this universe. We are a part of this universe. So if people, if you don't believe in energy... If you don't believe in spirit, if you don't believe in God, you don't believe in your own self. God is nothing but energy intelligence. God is what Jesus had inside of him. So much he believed he can walk on water, right? So people, if you don't believe in God, then you don't believe in you. Because God lives in each and every one of us. 
Now, how you are using your God is the question. Because if you're using your God for bad, then guess what? It's going to work for your bad. So if you constantly saying, why is this happening to me? Why aren't I making enough money? Why bad things keep happening to me? Then that's because deep in, in your being, you feel like you don't deserve better. Because you think that all you deserve is the things that's around you. If you don't like what's going on in your life and what's going on around you, just take a step back outside of yourself and look at your environment. Even the way you keep your home, look at how you're living. That communicates that your mind is a reflection of what you see in the physical. And so, and I don't want to go off topic here, but I just feel like some things has to be said because in order for some people to grasp the concept or understand the concept, you have to like dive a little deeper. And so when you think with that kind of mindset, you can't expect for more to come your way. So in other words, you have to already live like you already receiving these things or like you already had these things. So instead of worrying about, well, mm, I don't got enough money right now, you know, or why she got that and I don't, or why he able to get that car and I can't, or why is it that I can't keep a job? Or why is it that I can't keep money in my pocket? Well, it's because the moment you speak these things out your mouth, it's already coming back to you, right? So you are cursing yourself in the moment of speaking these things. And you don't even love your life because you're speaking the things that is happening in that moment to existence. So you are cursing yourself unintentionally. And you're not, you're not, you're not even aware that you're doing it. Because mentally, you just stuck in a space of why I don't have or vibrating so low that you don't see more. But in the midst of you vibrating low, you are bitter. You are angry. You're upset. You wondering why you can't get this. You're jealous and you envious of the next person's life because that person is doing everything that I'm saying right now. And you looking at them like, well, why is this person? Let me tell you something. You cannot mimic somebody else's lifestyle. You can mimic your own. You can create your own. But you can't look at someone else and say, oh, I'm going to do that. Because you can do it. But guess what? It ain't going to work. And, and if it do, it ain't going to last. You want to retain and gain. Meaning you want to get it and keep it, right? And the way to do that is be your own creator. Don't try to create recreate something that somebody else is doing now let me rephrase that because you have many things that can be recreated but what i mean is and this is why i have to dive a little deeper with some people this is why i'm so thankful for my college degree for people who say you don't need a degree to become wealthy that is true but you need a degree to learn the knowledge you really need to learn this knowledge because this is how you can retain and gain some things so what I mean by that is, is that you look at this person and deep down inside is something about that person that you are inspired by, but you are a little jealous and envious of this person as well. And instead of just being inspired by this person and recreating something your way, you try to mimic this person and you wonder why it ain't working for you because it's not for you. Back on topic. <laughs> so... The thing is, is that you cannot receive anything you're asking God for if you are a, resi a resistant person. So you know what that means? You have to change your mindset, sweetie. I don't care where you come from, what lifestyle you used to live. In other words, if you used to be a drug dealer, if you used to be a stripper, if you used to be a drug user, whatever your past was does not have to dictate your future, right? We all have a past. We all have some, have some stories that we can tell for years, right? But the point that I'm making is, is that you don't have to take those traditional ways of thinking that was put on you in your childhood by your parents and your grandparents and then your parents, parents, parents. You don't have to do that. You heard of breaking generational curses. I say generational behaviors. To, it's the same to me. But 
you have to break that, that chain. You have to break that thought process. How do you do it? You're going to have to leave some people where they are. You're going to have to walk away from some people. Or these people need to walk away from you because you don't want to leave them. Right? So don't even be mad when somebody walk out your life or when you got to make that move. Because what you're becoming is more aware. You are raising your consciousness. So... It's kind of hard for people to really understand that they are living in this rat race or that they are creating a lifestyle that they hate unintentionally. So you have to change your mindset. You have to start meditating. You have to build your spirituality, your spiritual walk. You have to seek your God. You have to find out what you were here for, what you were created for. You have to find out what is your life purpose. Right? Because we're not here just to work a 9 to 5 or 11 to 7. I, I don't believe that's what I was created for. And I know I wasn't created for that. So, because I know that, I'm always creating. And with me always creating, I'm always, I'm aware. I'm aware when my spiritual guides is talking to me. If you don't believe when in, in numerology, back then in the traditional ways of thinking... My grandparents that was voodoo or that was witchcraft or whatever you want to call it. We are living in a world now where people are becoming more awakened to their, you know, spirituality and, and that they don't need, you know, and I hate to say this, but they don't really fully rely on church to get what they need because they discovering that God is inside of them. Now, church is needed because I mean, I, I go to church. And I need to hear that word to help me continue this walk. But what I also discovered is, is that this is an everyday lifestyle. And, you know, once you get that, you, you can miss a Sunday or two. Because you understand that your relationship is with God is a personal relationship. And so what I want people to understand is, is that When you make the decision that you want to change your mindset, it's all over. That means you're going to have to change some ways that you may not want to change. You're going to have to change some people, places, and things that you might not want to change. You're going to have to practice being alone sometimes so that you can learn more about who you really are. And you got to pray. Pray and ask God. Pray and ask the source, universe, Buddha. Hindu, whatever you believe in, guess what? It's still only one God. And so pray and ask and really mean it. Like, what am I here for? What is my life purpose? Because for me, I started to feel empty. I started to feel like I, I didn't belong here anymore because my life just started to feel empty. And once I started to talk to my God and say, what was I created for? I really want to know. Because I have a passion to make a difference in this world that I'm able to experience right now. I was created to add value to humanity. I was created to help change lives. Not just become no licensed cosmetologist or hair loss practitioner. But even though in those moments, in those times when I'm working, I am making a difference in people's lives still. But on a grander scale, like... Not worrying about chasing money. Because when you do that, you won't be able to keep it. You really have to do things with love and compassion. And you really have to do things that want to add value to humanity. In order for you to do any of these things, you have to get in alignment with yourself. You have to tap into who you really are. And again, in order to do that, you have to disregard some things. You have to change your lifestyle. You have to do a 360 from the inside out, you have to ask God to forgive you. You have to ask God to help you get rid of, you know, um, those, those negative thoughts, you know, thinking, st stinking, thinking. You have to ask God to help you to not think bad about yourself. Because we can have guilt and shame on us so bad because of a past life we used to live or because or because of the life you living right now. You feel guilty and shameful of it. But guess what? God forgives everybody. He forgiven you already, but you haven't forgiven yourself. You're so busy stuck on the things you've done 
that is causing you to vibrate low that you can't even manifest what God wants to give you. He gives all of us chance after chance after chance after chance. It's up to you to take that chance. And it's time to stop blaming God on the decisions and the choices you make. Because guess what? God ain't gone nowhere. You're the one who left God. Right? So I'm here to let people know and to educate people, to enlighten people by sharing this knowledge and letting you all know that you can have whatever your heart desires. Whatever. Now, this goes for the good and the bad. So if you think bad and negative things is just only going to happen to you, if you think you ugly, if you think you can't sing, if you think that God don't love you, if you think that nothing is going to ever change in your life, then because you believe that so much in your being, then guess what your life and your reality is going to be? It's going to be all of those things, right? But this is how powerful we are as human beings. If you believe this so much about yourself, why not substitute that with positive? Because for me, I believe that I deserve nothing but greatness. I deserve the best. I deserve what God has for me. It's my birthright. So guess what? I'm going to get in alignment so that I can receive that overflow that God is ready to release into my life. And, and, and for me, I know that this is what it's going to be. Now, I have a, a story. I have a past. But... I had to go through that to get to where I am now. So we can't keep on pondering on our sorry, sad stories. Yes, we need our stories to help other people. But don't play the victim. Don't play the victim because we are winners. We ain't playing no victim. Because victims vibrate low. Victims want people to feel sorry for them. Victims are not aware of their true power. Right? So don't worry about the things you can't see. Don't worry about that because guess what? We can't see God, but we know God is here and God is using us as vehicles to do the things we're doing as creators, right? And so that house you want, that money you want to manifest, you know, that husband or wife you want, that baby you might want to have, you know, those businesses you want to start, whatever it is, you can't see it, but you can feel that that's what you want. But do y'all understand that when you think of something, it's already manifesting? Everything that I have in my life right now, I manifested it. I thought about it. I spoke it years ago, five years ago. I have a journal and I noted it and I dated it. And I'm going to share this in another video so people can see. Like I'm literally documenting my manifestations because... I want people to also understand that you can have it. Y'all heard when they when we in church and they say, if God will do it for them, he will do it for you. If God and source and energy would do it for me, he will do it for you. The only difference between me and you is that I choose to believe. I choose me. I chose me. So that means that I walked away from some people, places, and things to get my mind right, to get my mindset together, and to get in alignment with myself so that I can receive this wealth, this prosperity, this abundance that God is trying to give to me. Do you understand that you are slowing up your flow because you you are a resistant individual? You're not allowing God to do anything. You're not allowing God to, to show you that it got you. You're not a lot because we as humans, we think we got to do everything. We believe that we were created to take control of everything. No, we were created to allow our God to motive, to mobilize our faith and use us as vehicles so that other people can see what we're doing and they can be inspired to make the same moves that we make. But it ain't me that's doing this by myself. This is God inside of me using me right now as I talk about this in this video. This is God using me. And if God is inside of me and can do this, then what, ex what makes you exempt? The only thing that's exempting you is that you are being resistant and you're not going with the flow. And the way how you can start becoming non-resistant is to let people go. You have to change your places. You have to change your environment. You have to create a whole new lifestyle. Y'all heard about it in church. You got to be born again. Yes, 
This ain't only applicable to the people in the church. This is applicable to all human beings. You got to be in church to know you got to be born again. In other words, born again ain't nothing but God saying you got to change some ways. You got to change yourself. You got to get rid of the old, the, all of this stuff you got going on with you. You got to get rid of it. In order for God to do what he wants to do in your life and for him to bless you, you have to like become a new person. And it's that simple. You got to change. You got to die to the old person so that you can become this new person. And it's just that simple. You want to have people that come up against you, even your family. They want to be the first ones. Because when, when you start changing that paradigm shift that you was born into and you start changing your mindset and you start doing things that your family and your friends didn't ever do, when they start seeing you doing things different, Oh, you won't become stuck up. You won't become bougie. You think you, for, you forgot where you came from. You think you better than them. This is the stuff I hear all the time, right? And so guess what? If Jesus had to go through that, then guess what? I'm willing to go through it as well so that I can get what God has for me. I don't care what people got to say or what people got to think because guess what? It's a bigger picture here. It's a bigger picture. And I'm going to get what, what's for me. What's my birthright? I don't got time to be playing it safe. I don't got time for that traditional way of thinking. I don't got time for any of that anymore. So much that I allow my children to pick and choose what they want to do and what they want to be. Because I understand that I was just a vehicle to get them here. I am their guardian angel. And what my job is, is to help them to discover their true authentic self. That's what I'm here for. And so... Coming from where I come from, if you go to college, you know, you got to do this. You got to do, you got to do that. The, the world is changing. It has changed already. Things is not the same. And I'm here to let you know, parents, we got to change. We can't take that same traditional way of thinking into our children's lives. Still be wise counselors to your children. Still give them that guidance and that, that, that wise counseling that they need. But don't push your beliefs and what you feel they need to be for you to be. No, because you, you're doing a, them a disservice. You're not allowing them to discover who they really are. Because your daughter or your son could be a multimillionaire, but you're so hung up on, oh, you're going to go to college and you're going to become this and that. And guess what? That's not what they want to do. We have to allow our children because they're humans. And these new children, indigo children. If you don't know about indigo children, I got two of them. Y'all better go research. Go research about indigo children because this is going to answer a lot of parents' questions why their children are so rebellious and they are against authority and why they are the way they are. That's the, the world is changing. We gave birth to a new generation of children, y'all. It's that deep that we are universal um, vibrational spiritual beings. And a lot of people are not aware of this, this knowledge. And that's why I'm glad I got this YouTube channel because I'm able to share this information with you guys. And I hope that this video has helped someone, enlightened someone. And if you like it, don't forget to subscribe to this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel and share this video because somebody's need to hear this. God is using me right now. I'm telling y'all, take these notes. I'm telling you, help your life become easier because you're making your life harder than what it really has to be. When we got to, and it's hard to go with the flow because you can't see the things that's in the non-physical realm, the spiritual realm. But guess what? They are there. Trust me. Before we came into this physical realm of life, we were already spiritual beings. So guess what? It's time to connect the non-physical with the physical. Meaning, in other words, it's time for you to manifest the things that's in the non-physical in the physical. It can happen. And you ain't got to wait till you got to die to receive the goods. No, we ain't doing that. We going to receive it right here, right now, here on this earth. Right? So I hope this video was powerful, which I know it is. Um, I hope that it helps some, some people and share it. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Okay, guys? I love y'all so much. I will be posting videos every Monday. 
and um, just constantly helping people to discover their true authentic self. If I was asked, what is my purpose? This is what my purpose is. My purpose is to help women to discover their true authentic self. That's what I'm here for. I'm discovering myself right now. I'm discovering who I truly authentically am. And in the process of me learning this, simultaneously me learning this, I want to share it with you guys so we can all be on this journey together. And even though my platform is for women, you know, men, if you find out that these videos may be beneficial to you, share it with your wife or your girlfriend and share it with and use it for your own self as well. So guys, like I said, I hope this video helps some people today. I love you all so, so much. Don't forget to click that subscribe button and share this video with someone. Mwah.